yeah, after an epic time in Cape Town, it was uh, time to head back home to the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, being there didn't really satisfy me at all because uh, it was pretty cold. Yeah, I mean, I've had a, a fair share of injuries in the past and uh, the only way to prevent this is to work out, you know. And uh, I just really feel good when I'm fit. Going for a nice morning run. So, waking up is the hardest bit, but as soon as you're out, you're flying. So my worst nightmare just rang the doorbell, Dr. Evil. I also didn't really have a, a place to stay. Yeah, therefore I thought it was just good to go back to basics and uh, jump in the camper with the ultimate freedom. So we're heading to Rebel Lease to pick up the RV. Everything is working. We picked up the RV at, uh, at Rebel Lease. Uh, Fred, my buddy, owns the company and uh, yeah, he sets us off uh, on a nice journey. Take all the boards with. Got a prototype here from the Leeuwen guys. Got a fresh inboard. Yeah! First things first. The wind's blowing nicely, so we're going out for a session. got the camper van and uh, we still stayed in the Netherlands for a little bit. We decided to just head for, for France. And uh, on the way we still caught a nice session with Ed, my good friend in the, in the south of Holland. Riding the inboards everywhere and uh, yeah, just cruising, you know, and just being free, just going wherever you want to go without a plan. but we had a great, great fun all together. So, night one in the camper is a fact. And it was fantastic. Yeah. We continued the road trip towards the north of France. Um, then we went to Brittany and Normandy. And uh, there I scored some epic sessions. There was one place with some sick rocks there. And uh, yeah, I met up with uh, Nico. And uh, yeah, we had a blast, man. Finally some wind again. like all the way upwind and then we went over the beach to, to the inside of the lagoon and there we scored some epic jumps man it was super super fun Exploring done. This session rocked. Ew! So, kiting always makes me happy. In the beginning, it looked all gray and choppy and gusty. And like, ah, let's do this. And then you're underwater, and this is magic. And sometimes we would look for a campground uh, just to plug and play. We could charge our laptops, have some Wi-Fi, and uh, do some cooking. Okay, I can see a downside to the happy camper life. I mean. Emptying your toilet at some points is quite disgusting, you know. It almost makes me puke every time I do it. And, uh... <laughs> but hey, if that's the price we gotta pay, I will stay happy camper. <laughs> we decided to go to the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, we definitely scored a big session there. It's like beautiful flat water. The wind was cranking. Uh, also, this guy Jordan got in touch. He saw my Instagram stories that I was there, so he got in touch and. Yeah, we just ended up riding together and uh, having a blast. Yeah, 
Leukant is actually known for, uh, for its wind. It's uh, blowing there all the time. It's an offshore wind because there's some epic spots around. We went to Des Dosses. Yeah, just riding there on the flat water, busting some big loops with everyone was uh, insane. 